It's a new orchestra. It's unique because of its makeup. The youngest member is 12 and the oldest is 21. The young ones bring incredible enthusiasm and intensity and passion and excitement and novelty to it. Because of the older ones, the level of the orchestra can raise very high. This age it's very rare to get a chance to play a Mahler Second Symphony. They might play the First Symphony, which is more common. They might even play the Fourth Symphony, but the Second Symphony, it's enormous. <laughs> the size of the orchestra, the demands of the music, the richness of the expressive spiritual message of the piece. I mean, it's, it's not kid stuff, this is definitely grown up stuff. Death to resurrection. All art essentially is about that journey from death to life, resurrection, transformation. This piece tracks that development in the most amazingly vivid and powerful way. So the opening movement is as dark and as grim and as tormented as music can be. <laughs> elastic musical language. If you don't know that, and you don't know the language, like a foreign language, you don't know it, you'll speak it in a very uh, rigid way. So the opening of the second movement, dum, bum, 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 those are the notes, but it's not the way the music goes. The music, That's the Mahler way. It's called the rubato style, where you steal time when something special is happening in the music. It's all to do with timing. And it was amazing, they were all looking up and following and the timing was so free and so uh, subtle, so subtle. And that kind of elasticity and freedom is something that I instill in them from the beginning.
we normally think of music as being beautiful and that the aim of the performer is always to create beauty. But in Mahler, sometimes he wanted something else, abrasiveness, violence, sometimes even ugliness, because what he wanted was the whole world in his symphonies. He said that. The symphony should contain the whole world, and ugliness is part of the world too. There's one passage in the first movement in which the brass players and the percussion players pile dissonance after dissonance after dissonance. And that's an overwhelming moment. And in this, in this bar, all the notes of the minor scale are played simultaneously, one on top of another. It's one of the most violent dissonances in all of music. And it makes an overwhelming impact. Pretty it isn't. Beautiful it isn't. But the shattering impact, harrowing in its teeth-grinding intensity, that's a moment that once heard is never forgotten. We're going to Holland for 11 days with 130 people. And we will play in five different cities, two completely different programs. Choral singers from all over Holland come together for an intensive cause, and the piece they will learn is the Mahler Second Symphony. And then they'll perform it in Harlem, where the festival is, and then we'll perform it in Rotterdam, and then on the 27th of June, we will perform it in the Concertgebouw in Amsterdam. Now, it's important for people to understand that the Concertgebouw, along with maybe two other concert halls in the world, the Musikverein in Vienna and Carnegie Hall in New York, are the three pinnacle halls for classical music in the entire world. And every musician who knows about that is in awe of the fact that we're going to play in the concert hall. I particularly am excited because my mother is Dutch and so I will be playing for the first time, conducting for the first time in Holland as a Dutch conductor actually. Bringing my 130 young musicians with me and playing in the greatest concert hall in Holland, one of the greatest in the world. It's acoustically great and it also has a fantastic Mahler tradition one place during his life where he was celebrated without hesitation, without reservation, it was wonderful. So for us to go back to the, the home of Mahler love is, is a very important thing, and to bring this symphony to Holland is a, a tremendous privilege. I'm very excited, and I think the Dutch are very excited too. Now in one.